Friday morning breakfast and preparing that for me and the puppy this morning. feels like the end of the world like or we may feel like we've done something wrong to encounter what we're going through sometimes you just gotta go through to grow through to just know that god will make a way for you it will just be a faith builder to you so you have to just really be encouraged during those times where you feel defeated you feel like everything is not working out for you everything will work out for your good Okay, if you love the Lord and you're a call to this project, everything will work out for from Target and it's just it's just like a very vanilla scent very cute cute y'all I like keeping scriptures on my mirror and I was just going through a rough time one day and honestly I just decided to write up some scriptures in the mirror to just be able to encourage myself when when you wake up in the morning it's good to see the scriptures, which is some of them I have wrote up because you have to be armored up with the word. You have to have the word in your mind because when the enemy comes and when he tries to attack your mind, you will be ready. When the enemy comes, he cannot destroy you because you have the word to combat the enemy. Because look, we is not the devil friend. The devil does not like us. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So we have to have the word constantly in our mind and we have to speak the word as well over our life we have to believe in the word as well the enemy would love to run circles around you so don't let him oh it feels nice out here nice to get outside me and my husband later we're going to be looking at some cars and we are going to walk away with the car today in the name of jesus so i'm filming this because I know we're going to get what God has for us today. With our name on it. He's going to bless us with the car. Because he said, if, even if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain to move into the sea. And I know that our faith is going to get us our car today. We're going to leave with it today. So stamp this. We started our car touring session for my husband. I'm gonna give him a new car. Uh oh. It's your mama right here. Yeah, booty roll. Stop it though. Yeah. I like it though. Oh, yeah. But yes. I think, I think this might be. This, this, I'm sold on it. Not this one, but. You yeah, know. but you sold on the brand. Yeah. down too yeah that's plenty of storage to put stuff in the bag mm -hmm. strollers we got a little strollers <laughs> you know, 
Okay, so he likes this brand, y'all. So let's go get that 2020. This is 2019. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the second dealership. Looking at the second vehicle. Here we go. Yeah, hour. But yeah, we're going to get a car today. Today. Get it right, baby. This man just got a new car. Businessman. All glory to God. It's none of us, but all glory to God. We are excited. So grateful to God. All praises to Him because He got it all out. I'm right, about to get a blessing. I'm about to walk into church. Just left church not too long ago. Yeah, the word was needed today. It was a reminder today to us to preach the word in season and out of season. So it came out of Malachi, the third chapter. The word today had me thinking. Not to 
say that we not sinning as well because we do all fall short of the glory, but we got to do our part. Yeah. And we got to repent and we got to continue to walk, continue to run for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely have to be committed to God and not just give them just our leftovers and just be like, yeah, Lord, this is enough for you. Because he don't be doing that to us every time when we be repenting. <laughs> every time when we get in some trouble and then we be trying to pray, be like, Lord. Because I always want to pray when something bad happened. Nah, why you wasn't praying when everything was all good? For a lot of us, stop praying all the time asking for stuff. You know, you <laughs> know like, look at, if there was somebody that was around you all, and every time they talk to you, they always asking you for something. You get annoyed. Yeah. You be like, yeah. man, they always asking for something. I don't even want to be around them. I don't even want, I don't even want to talk to them because they always asking. Yeah. So why are you doing that to the Lord? You don't want nobody doing that to you. What? what? Sure. Repent. Repent. And then Perfect. tell them you're sorry for being wrong and then thank them. Just thank them yeah. for everything. Just exactly. start going down the list of things that you're thankful for. Mm -hmm. Even if it ain't, even if it's something small, like, Lord, I didn't have a pencil one day at school and you blessed such and such to give me a pencil so I can take that test and, and I pass because I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. pass if I had no pencil. Like that's small, yeah. but the Lord like, right, he, he got that heart. He going after me for stuff that don't even that, that people ain't nobody else praying for that. Mm -hmm. Anybody else thanking me for that, for giving them a pencil? Yeah. I like that. You special. Now you on the special list. Now you VIP in the club. <laughs> like, come on, now. it's yeah. the little things. It's the little things. Just like in the word, he take the he take the simple things that can find the mind of the wise. It's small. Stop thinking so hard. Walking with the Lord, it seems to be sometimes we complicate, we overcomplicate it, but it's honestly just going ahead and just doing what He said the first time, like just doing what the Word says exactly how it says and if you don't understand what the word says ask god and ask listen him. and yeah, then listen. listen don't ask him and then get up and go do something else exactly. you got to give him time to answer exactly. you don't just have a one-way conversation with somebody mm -hmm. when you talking to somebody you talk and then whenever it's their turn to talk you shut up and you listen to them talk the same way with the lord yeah. after you done told him if you didn't pour it out you didn't told him what you what you going through and what you need help with sit there and shut up <laughs> and let him speak to you and have an ear to listen yeah good to sometimes just take inventory like where am I at spiritually or you know what season am I in or why am I in this position it's really good to look at that but one day I will do a testimony video and just you know speak about my testimony you guys enjoyed that but the word was the word was very good today I believe it stirred both of us up to my mom-in-law's house we're gonna have a mom and daughter date today so we're supposed to go to the nail salon she's gonna get her nails done i'm gonna get my pedicure mm. and i'm ready for that so i can get into that massaging get into them feet uh so we're doing that today so a bit of self-care i'm all about self-care and pouring into yourself especially being pregnant right now my legs or i can tell my calf muscles are getting bigger and my ankles as well so i'm looking forward to a good massage and i'm looking forward to on honestly bonding with my mom as well that's pretty much the plans for today you stay on my mind every day and every night you do you stay on my mind Every day. You stay on 
Today was a great day overall. I was able to spend time with my mom-in-law and also spent some time with my husband today at her house. So it was very nice. Before I do go to bed though, I'm gonna go pray and spend some time with the Lord. Typically what I do is put on some worship music and just start praying to him, start thanking him and get the words, just any word that he has for me and then dive into his word as well um, let me show y'all the book that i'm reading it's a 90 day devotional book a woman of purpose and power by dr miles monroe and he has some really good books he did pass away but he just gave so much wisdom before he died that is now even useful now one day 18 as far as the read goes but it's very good it just talks about what a woman's purpose is and how to find your purpose what we have to know our roles as women as how god sees us so yeah so check this book out um definitely if you are you know looking to just know what your purpose is and a role of a woman this is just from a man's perspective like a 90 day devotional so check it out check it out y'all i've been i've been into this lately hope you guys have a good night and i will check in with y'all